it's Emma, welcome back to my channel and to the final episode of the Nose Job Diaries. So for anyone who's new, in April 2021 I had open rhinoplasty surgery with Maya who are a pretty big cosmetic surgery company here in the UK. So definitely go check out those videos if you want to follow along with the whole journey. They are all in one playlist for you guys to find really easily so I'll link that below. But yeah, here we are, April 2022. I cannot believe that it has been a whole year since my surgery. I remember it like it was yesterday. So for today's video, I'm going to be answering some questions that I got from my Instagram. I got some really good ones and these are pretty much the questions that I get asked most frequently in my comments and in my DMs. So for anyone who doesn't know, with rhinoplasty surgery, they say that the full recovery time to be from your post-op to like the final result is one year so that's why I'm kind of celebrating being here because officially even though I'm already discharged I was discharged at my post-op appointment which was I think six weeks after my surgery but obviously I went through a whole year of healing and getting to live with my new nose and now I'm pretty much at the end of the journey hopefully. The last time I updated you guys would have been my six month nose job update. So today I'm going to answer these questions and basically sum up the whole experience. So I got a couple of similar questions which were basically asking is your nose exactly how you wanted it to be or were your expectations not met? Are you happy with the final result? Is your nose what you expected, what you wanted, etc. So I am really really happy with my nose, I've always said that since day one, as soon as I got my cast off in that video you guys saw how happy I was and how much of a difference it had made. Um, looking back one year on, that definitely hasn't changed, I'm still so so happy with my result, it is hands down the best thing that I've ever done. I'm going to insert some before and after pictures just to remind you guys of what my nose was like before. It was mainly the side profile that I was concerned with. It wasn't as noticeable from the front because my main issue was the bump that I had in my nose which you obviously saw more from the side. So in terms of whether my expectations were met with that, they completely were because the bump is completely gone now as you can see. The idea of it being perfect or being exactly what you wanted is kind of a difficult one because I think is anything ever going to be perfect? Like I absolutely love my new nose but sometimes I look at it and I think oh I'd maybe change that slightly or I'd maybe prefer it if it was slightly more like this. For example for me I think the tip of it I still would prefer it to be slightly slightly slimmer but I'm not going to get it redone and I am so so happy with it so it's not something that bothers me but like I said I think anytime you get work done you then start thinking oh well this would be good to have done or I would also like this and I would like to look like this and it kind of becomes like an endless thing so also sorry this is the longest answer ever but when I had my nose done, as you will see the difference between the before and after, it did completely change the shape of my face and as a result of that, I did look completely different. I mean, I still looked like me, but my nose didn't just change my nose, it changed the shape of my face and consequently, when you change the shape of your face in that way, you then start to notice other things, for example, now I think my side profile of my nose is great but I don't necessarily like other aspects of my side profile and I would like to have filler in my chin or I would like to have filler in my jawline because I've had my nose done and my nose looks great it's now made those other things more noticeable if that makes sense. Next question, another one that I get asked quite a lot is is it worth the money? So yes nose jobs are very expensive rhinoplasties in the uk should be anywhere between like six thousand up to ten thousand even so it is very very expensive and making a big financial decision like that was definitely challenging and it definitely has 
stressed me out a lot. I think it is a lot of money and when you say that amount, it does seem like, wow, I, could, I would never pay that. That's such an amount of money. But when you think about what you're actually having done, like a major surgery on your face, is it really a lot of money? Because people spend more money on cars, on material things and you know this is a major surgery next question is do you have to get it redone for it to last so the great thing about nose jobs about rhinoplasties is that it is supposed to be a once in a lifetime surgery so a lot of surgeries that you have done or even aesthetic procedures like fillers you have to get them redone if you get a boob job, you have to get that redone every 10 to 15 years. If you get fillers, you get that redone like 6 to 12 months or whenever you want. The great thing about rhinoplasty is that it is a one-time thing. So again, if you're looking at the money as well, yes it is expensive, but you're having this thing done once and you're not going to have to keep repaying that. Some people do have revision surgery, which is where you go back and you revise over something that you don't like and you essentially get it probably not redone but you might have something about it changed. Next question is what products did you use for healing? So again I did document every element of my healing process so I will link all those videos below. The main products that I used, first of all I used a nasal cream which was prescribed to me by my surgeon. I don't remember the name of it but it's something it's a really famous one, it's called like Nasa Creme, I don't think it's called that. It's something, it's a famous nasal cream that has to be prescribed. That was the only product that was prescribed to me along with my medication. Then in terms of things that I bought myself, I bought this really really good cream which is super famous amongst people who have cosmetic surgery and I can't for the life of me remember the name. It begins with an A. It's called, oh, what's it called? Arnica. Arnica. Arnica is basically, doesn't have to be just for people who've had surgery. It is a cream for helping bruising. So obviously for rhinoplasty it's perfect because you get a lot of bruising on the face. So I really recommend Arnica and I applied that every day after my surgery and I think it really helped with reducing my swelling and my bruising. Then I think the only other one that I used really was a nasal spray which I got from Amazon. I saw it recommended by someone else who had rhinoplasty and that nasal spray is called Sterimar and I highly highly recommend using that to help clear your nose. Even if you've not had a rhinoplasty but your nose is just feeling really blocked up you can also use it for that but it is suitable for people who've had surgery. So I definitely recommend trying that. Next question is any side effects that you've still got? So I don't really have any major side effects. I talked about this in my six month nose job update, but the main one is probably to do with the fact that my nose was really, really narrowed. So I've now got a much narrower and slimmer passage. As a result of that, it is more difficult for me to breathe and that is a really common side effect after rhinoplasty and it is something that you do consent to or you should consent to. You should fill out a consent form before any surgery and that is one of the things on there that you basically acknowledge that you might have future breathing difficulties. Sometimes even if I've not got a cold, I feel like my nose is a bit runny or like I need to blow my nose. Sometimes it's the opposite. Some days it feels like it's a bit blocked. But yeah, that is one of the main side effects. But for me, it's nothing too major. I do find that I seem to get colds more often since having my nose job. I don't know if that's officially a thing, but I feel like it definitely is for me. Next question is, will it change shape? So as I said earlier, a rhinoplasty is supposed to be, I say supposed to be just in case for someone it isn't. So once you've got it and once you've healed, so once you're at the 12 month final result point like me, it should not continue to change shape. And the shape that you have now 
you should have for the rest of your life and I know someone actually my boyfriend's mum had a nose job when she was my age so she's obviously had it for how many years I don't want to say this wrong but she's had it for quite a few years now and she's never had it redone or anything so yeah as far as I know it's going to stay the same shape forever now unless I do anything god forbid to damage it or change it but I'm very very careful with it so hopefully that will never happen touch wood next question is can you see your scars never notice them in pics so my scars are really really not noticeable like pretty much everyone says that they can't see them even like when my boyfriend is super super up close he can't see some of them because they've just faded away really really nicely so the main scar because I had open rhinoplasty which is where they lift up and open your nose the main scar is here on the what's this called the bottom bit of your nose between your nostrils I'm not going to show you guys I've said this in every video I'm not going to show you my nostrils or the work on my nostrils just because I don't really want to you know let you look up my nose but the main scar is here on this bit and then I also have a little scar here tiny tiny here as well and then I have two here tiny tiny scars down the side just because I had some nostril work done I had alabase reduction which I've talked about in my other videos but yeah so that's why I've got five scars altogether. but some people might have less than that but yeah honestly I would say do not be worried about the scarring because you really really cannot notice them from my experience you literally can't see them anymore next question is did you notice any difference between month six and twelve so obviously six months was the last time that I updated you guys when I was halfway and I would definitely say I've noticed a difference between six months and twelve months but I definitely noticed that the swelling went down even more in the tip of my nose the tip is the last bit of swelling that will go down and sometimes it does last the full time until 12 month point so a couple of similar questions someone asked at what month do you think you got your final noticeable results so I got my first noticeable result straight after my surgery when I got my cast off I know this doesn't happen for some people and I have seen videos where they've been disappointed at the cast off but for me I think because it was such a big difference between the before and the immediate after I obviously noticed an immediate change because it looked completely different the shape and then in terms of like when I got my final noticeable results I think probably in the past few months after month six so like months eight nine ten and so on up until now month twelve I definitely feel like it has slimmed down and I'm not just imagining it I know it was thicker than it was now it was definitely very up and down some days it was really swollen then the swelling went away the swelling came back so it is a very up and down process you just have to bear with it and then someone said I was told your nose doesn't really change after the three month mark was this true for you no this was not true for me as I said officially you are still healing until you are one year post-op so pretty much everyone told me that my nose might continue to change across the whole 12 months and then I think the final question is do you regret it no I absolutely have no regrets in getting my nose job as I said earlier it is the best best thing that I've ever done it completely changed my face and how I look not that I was unhappy with how I looked before overall but I was unhappy with this certain aspect and it's changed it so much and just made me so much happier and so much more confident in my face overall so that is all for my 12 month nose job update I really really hope you guys enjoyed watching and that you've enjoyed coming along with me on this journey it has been a journey honestly some of the stuff I went through in the beginning it's so so good to be here at the end now and to be fully 
healed and to have my final result. If you enjoyed please give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below because it does help my channel a lot and if you're not already subscribed I would love for you to do so. I'm posting new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday and I've got some really really exciting content coming so make sure you're subscribed. As I said earlier I will leave links to all my Notion videos below if you want to check them out and follow along from start to finish. We're finally at the finish and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in a video soon. Bye!